What's up creatives? I know it's been a while. I wanted to bring you along with me today. I'm shooting a very cinematic martial art video. I will be trying to do this all on my own as far as shoot the film and do a BTS. So bear with me, but guys, it's going to be awesome. And let's go ahead and roll out there. Alright, just got here. I had to get my man some water. You know, you want to treat the artist right. But uh, yeah, about to check out this dojo. And uh, let's go check it out, man. Oh, what's up? Hey, Sensei what's Steven. happening? What's happening? Good to what's see you, up, brother. Man? Ready to make this thing happen? So yeah, yeah, this is the uh, spot right here. You can see behind me. Um, got a lot going on here. And uh, real nice dojo. I want to really be able to control and paint the room with the light that I brought instead of using the uh, existing light. So that's what we're doing right now. And uh, it's gonna give a much, much better result. So. All right guys, so I used the Aperture 300D Mark II as my main light. All right, be pumped up, all right? Action. My vision was to flood light behind him so I can get this really nice silhouette. And uh, just keep in mind guys, this um, footage is not color graded at all. I will leave the link below in the description of my favorite, favorite <coughs> program to use for color grading. It's really awesome. It's good in Final Cut, DaVinci, and Premiere. Just trying to get different angles here, um, even if I didn't end up using them in the edit. It's good really to mix it up guys and get different angles. Right here I was um, having a challenge with the uh, haze and I was just trying to fan it back there. As you can see back behind him there's two quasar tubes, two foot bicolor tubes set to tungsten. And I hustled over here to get this shot. Once again I love silhouettes so I was coming to the side to get a silhouette shot. Came out really well. Just moving around getting a parallax shot, different angles. Action. Are you ready? Wrap. That footage really came out well for the edit. Once again, fanning more um, haze to get the atmosphere that I wanted. I went handheld to get some real nice shaky handheld motion. You don't always want to use a gimbal, guys. I love this shot here. Here's my quasar tube to light this next shot. As you can see in the shot, um, there's a tube up there on the top that's part of the, the building and that's the motivation for the light. Right here I was discussing with him maybe getting inside there to see if I could get a cool perspective and I wasn't quite sure if it would clear me but it did. Action. And that will be in the, the video. If you haven't already watched that video, I'm going to leave the link below. Here I set up the 300D to slash across the building or the background, giving this Ready? look Action. to the shot. Came out really well. Shooting into the light gives um, a lot of shadow, a lot of mystery. This next um, setup, I used 300 D as well again and had it straight down to get this very cool effect that I've always wanted to try out. Came out really well. Love it. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button below if you like this content. And uh, guys, I'm about to uh, go to Colorado in the next few days. I'm going to have some serious content coming up. Um, I'm doing two music videos out there. It's going to be amazing um, in the mountains. So you guys have to stay tuned for that. Hit that subscribe button so you do not miss that. Take care, guys, and thanks for the support.